Hello loves and welcome back to Life with Shakisha. It is your girl and you already know what today's video is. It is what? Wind Down Wednesday. Yes. So I know I've been MIA for the past couple of Wednesdays. One, I needed a break for myself. And then two, I went on an anniversary cruise with the hubs. And if you haven't seen that video, check it out. I'll leave the link to that video in the description box. Um, or somewhere up here but with all that being said we are back with another wind down Wednesday video so if you want to see what today's wine is keep watching All right, wine friends, so before we get into today's video, I want to welcome back all of my subscribers. Thank you for tuning in to another video. And if this is your first time tuning in, do me a big favor and go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, click that subscribe button and that notification bell so you never miss any of my videos. All right, so a keeper of my word, today's video is going to be a Moscato wine, yes. You know, your girl is not really a sweet wine drinker, but you know what I'm saying? I love my wine friends, my sisters, my sip fam, whatever you want to be, you are that to me. So I'm going to go ahead and be a woman of my word and share a Moscato with you all. So before I get into today's Moscato, the funny thing about it is this particular wine, I actually shared with you all before and I was oblivious to the fact that it was a Moscato wine. So, with all that being said, I wanted to try another um, flavor of this particular wine by this particular winery or wine company and share with you guys. So, let's go ahead and get into today's wine. All right, so this is the second feature of the Dive Bar um, brand that I'm doing. I think the last one was a peach flavor. Um, and I actually liked it because it was not overly sweet and let me rewind a little bit I don't mind a sweet wine but I don't want it to taste sugary it has to be um, like a light sweetness to it like I don't want it to be super sugary because that's just not my ministry anymore <laughs> so anyway so this is a dive bar and this is their mango flavored moscato um it says it's a delicious wine beverage with natural flavors so we're going to get into some of the wine details and i'm going to be reading the back of the bottle as well i'm going to be referencing my um phone because i want to make sure that i am giving y'all all the details on this wine because as y'all know it is a hot wife summer and for my singles it's a hot girl summer but you know what i'm saying we wifing over here so everything is a hot wife summer okay um so i want to make sure that i'm giving you all the details because if you are a sweet wine drinker or a wine drinker that can tolerate a sweeter wine then this may be for you now i don't believe i tried the um mango so this will be my first time trying this along with you all so one thing that i do tell you all when you are going towards sweeter wines the alcohol content is going to be a lot lower in most cases so if you're trying to buy something that's going to get you lit this ain't it okay <laughs> not unless you just got a low tolerance then whatever but you know us here on this channel it's all about trying the different wines because wine is what an experience in a glass so I want to get something that's gonna allow me to be able to enjoy it take it in you know create thoughts imaginary vacations in my mind all of that good stuff that's what wine does for me so let's go ahead and look at the details so I'm just gonna read um, the um, description or this little small paragraph that they have about this wine it says dive bar introduces itself to an upfront rebellious attitude come as you are ready to be served we never judge a book by its cover 
Hey, I like that because you know some of these wine drinkers will judge you because you like sweet wine. I ain't one of them. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying. But anyway, let's get back to the details. Just as long as the story is good, sit down, pour a drink, and get to know the wine a little better. That's when you'll discover its bright, juicy side. These varietals have a sweetness that goes down so smooth, another delicious round is always imminent. So I like that because it lets you know it's a smooth, because some sweets can be like, you know, after you just finish eating a bag of jelly beans or candy corn, it's just too sweet. <laughs> so this one is, it does have some nutritional facts that are big because on a lot of bottle of wines, it won't give you this much detail. And let me just let you look at that. Let's see. It's the glare of the light. But that's a big, big space. So this is 110 calories per serving, and the serving requirement or recommendation is five fluid ounces. Um, so you can get up to five servings per bottle. So if it's a party of five, you can serve five glasses of wine with this bottle. Um, sugar, it's 11, 11 grams of sugar, and 10, 10 grams of that, they are added sugar. So you know, you're going to have your additives. That's just how it is. So the ABV on this is 6.5%. So like I said, if you're a sweet sipper, you know, and you're looking to get lit, this ain't it. <laughs> I'm just saying. Um, so this one, it is a mango taste. So looking at my notes on my phone, um, they go into more detail. Um, it's a California light body wine it is um, flavored with mango oranges and citrus so that citrus and that orange is going to give you a little bit of the acidity so it, in my opinion i feel like it may tame down that sweet sweet taste um and so again like when different wine reviewers or content wine content creators talk about wines you have to realize that everybody's palate is different so my sweet may be different from your sweet and your sweet from the next so what may be overly sweet to me may be underly sweet to you and which is underly sweet to me may be overly sweet to you so that's why i always encourage try it for yourself these videos are always based on my views my opinions and what my palate actually likes. So, again, this is a California white wine, and the varietal, which is the grape, is a Moscato. So there is actually a grape that is a Moscato grape. And I'll try to see if I can insert a picture of what a Moscato grape looks like. Um, I feel like I did it before, but if not, I don't mind doing it again. Um, so it does say that it's a sweet style, and it is light bodies. So I do most of my wine shopping at Total Wine. And as you know, I did just recently change my Instagram name to Black Girls in Total Wine. So Total Wine, if you're looking at this, send your girl an email. I'm down for a sponsorship, partnership, brand deal, whatever. <laughs> but anyway, so the reviews on this, but this is, and I'm sorry for the background noise, the boy is here still and you know I love it so I will take all the noise um, so this is out of 44 reviews so I want y'all to be mindful of that when y'all are looking up at reviews and things like that oh this got five stars but how many people actually reviewed it this is just 44 reviews so that means only 44 people submitted reviews via the app that I'm using for total wine but out of that they get a 4.5 out of that 44 those 44 reviews, 32 of the people gave it a 5, 7 gave it a 4, 2 gave it a 3, and 3 people gave it a 1. So, you know, if you want to gauge your re reviews, just make sure you look at the number of people that have reviewed it. This ain't been reviewed by a million people on this particular app. <laughs> Alright, so, and the reason why I decided to try this again because my guy Alan at the Total Wine on West Broad Street, um, he's always putting me on the good stuff. And 
the peach flavor, I believe, was one of the picks that he was picked uh, had picked for that week. And like I said, I really enjoyed it. So let's go ahead and open this one up. So this is a twist top. But don't let the twist top fool you. Don't mean it's cheap. Don't mean that it's expensive as well. This particular wine is at a cost, very low cost. So this is a great summer pick for $7.99. So if you're looking to try something that's not too expensive and you want to, you know, for kicks and giggles, eight bucks, you spend that on Starbucks nowadays. And I know that firsthand. So, you know, if you don't like it, it's not a total waste. It's always going to be somebody that likes sweet wine. And because it does have a twist top, you can twist it and preserve all of the flavors and then just, you know, pay it for it. Pass it along to one of your sweet wine drinkers. So, again, twist tops, we do what? Twist from the neck. That way you're not struggling because I don't know what it is. You know, y'all are already saving money not using the cork. Y'all could at least, you know, make sure you perforate the edges a little bit better but that's neither here nor there so i'm gonna actually put this in one of my favorite glasses that i don't use that much i got this off of amazon and by the time you see this i don't know if the amazon no by the time you see this the amazon prime day will still be going because this will be up on wednesday and prime day is um tuesday and wednesday and this is in my amazon storefront Front, and I'll leave a link to this as well as a link to this wine in the event you know you may not have a total wine in your area but they may deliver so let's go ahead and pour again I don't think it's a real science to how you pour but you know I watch a lot of you know sommeliers and stuff and they always tilt their glass so I'm gonna tilt my glass All right, so we went ahead and poured, and it has a nice, like, I'm not going to say, it's like a nice golden color. It almost gives me, it's giving me, like, clear, like, yellow diamonds kind of look. That, I don't know how that comes from, but it looks like almost like a yellow diamond. And so we're going to do a couple of things. Like, I'm going to always do these in this video because I'm always getting new people that's watching. And this may be their first time watching. So I'm not going to deviate from the program. So what we always like to do after we pour, we like to swirl. If you're not good with swirling with it in your hand, you can always, let me see if you can see it right here. Sit it on a table somewhere and do it like this. Just by the, put your hand at the bottom. And this will give you a nice swirl with all pouring. Now, in this glass, is a little bit harder. When you start switching the shapes of your wine glasses, um, what the original shapes of wine glasses are supposed to do or intended to do, it kind of makes it harder. That's why you have a lot of wine glasses that have the bowl because it helps it to be able to swirl so you can aerate it because that's basically what swirling does. It aerates it. It opens up the smell so you can actually kind of smell what you're about to taste before you taste it. So after we swirl, and this smells amazing. Like, fun fact, strawberries and mangoes are my favorite. I just have a hard time with mangoes because it's like, I feel like you be wasting a lot of mango meat because of that big seed. But this smells amazing. And this does have like a little, um, like a little bubbles to it. But it's not a bubbly, um, it's not a spritz or anything like that, but it is giving a little bubble. Can you see it in my glass? Yes. Look at the bubbles. It's giving bubbles. Um, so then another thing that we do by swirling, it creates these things that we call um, a meniscus, which is the ring that comes around your glass. Um, and then as it falls, they call it like the tears of the glass or um, the legs. And a lot of times that also helps you indicate the alcohol content if it goes down fast that means it's low and this one you see the little line see how fast it's going down it's like a line that's right here see how fast it's going down that baby is going fast so again that's lower if it goes down slower the alcohol content is a little bit higher and then it also tells a lot of other things I'm not a wine educator but I'm just giving y'all the little 
information that I know and that I know that most people care about. And that is how it tastes, how it smells, and if it's going to get you litty or if it's going to have you chill or have you on feel. But like I said, for me, it's all about the experience. So now that we went ahead and done that and we confirmed that it is a low alcohol content, we're going to smell. I smell every fruit that they mentioned. It's, I wish I wouldn't have read the fruits at first because I like to kind of test myself. I like to smell it to see if I can point out any other fruits besides the ones that specified on the bottle because of course we know that this is mango on here um, but I can smell the orange it smells like it's a juicy orange along with that mango oh my gosh I gotta smell it again like I can smell it right now but just you know tilting it and putting my nose in it with two cans that says follow your nose <laughs> so let's smell it one more time I'm trying to see if I can pick up on the citrus notes. I can't really pick up on it, but I can smell them oranges and them mangoes. Okay, so now the next thing we looked at it, which is the C. We swirled it so we could open up the flavors and aerate it. Now we're going to do the best part and we're going to sip it. So we're going to sip it just like everybody else would, and then we're gonna do it the wine enthusiast way. So let's take a sip. Okay, this is another winner. This is definitely another Moscato that I would drink. It is. And you know, like my girl Shayla of the Black Girls Wine Society, you know, her and I, it's like, She's my wine twin and she don't even know it. But I tell my friends all the time, just because you had one pin on a while does not mean that you're not gonna like one. Because you have to find a variety to buy a wine maker that you like. If your desire is to have a variety of each kind, you gotta t you gotta do the work. Just like you know, with with anything, you don't know if that's the job for you. You don't know if that's the person for you. You don't know if, you know, that's the nail polish for you until you try it. You know what I'm saying? So the same thing with wines. You know, there are Moscatos. I can't believe I'm going to say this. There are Moscatos that people that don't tend to like sweet wines can tolerate. And I say tolerate because if you don't like sweet, you don't like sweet. But if you're a wine enthusiast, a wine lover, a wine drinker, you can find something in that varietal that you can tolerate. If you're at a party and somebody has it, you're like, hey, this all they got? I can actually tolerate this. Because some, some wines you just can't like. It's some other varietals that are my favorite, but in uh, the way the other wine makers make them, I just can't tolerate it all. So now we're going to go ahead and do the wine enthusiast sip mm, that mango and that orange I don't know why you never think about that combination that's delicious and I'm serving it chill because you never want to serve a sweet or white wine ice cold because contrary to what your palate thinks it likes, it's going to be hard to really taste the flavors if, if that's what you're wanting to do. <laughs> if you're the type of wine drinker that wants to tell what you're drinking versus just drinking, you want to serve it at the temperatures that they suggest. You can go a little bit higher or a little bit lower, lower but... For me, I would not drink this ice cold. Now, I would probably do it just a little bit above. Let me see if it has the any recommendations on the temperature on here. It doesn't have temperature recommendation, but I would serve this or drink this chilled or slightly above chilled. Um, my red wines, I always like my room temperature. Um, and there are methods to those madness. They say if you're going to drink a white wine and you keep it in the refrigerator, take it out 
an hour before you drink it so it can come down or it's either 45 minutes to an hour but within that range so some of that coldness can come down and on your reds you want to put it in about 45 minutes before you drink it just if you don't have a wine fridge like I have if you keep your wines out you just want to put it in the refrigerator for about 45 minutes so it can get about 50 55 degrees is normally what red wines go for but we're not here for the red wines today we are here for the Moscato okay <laughs> so yeah when I did the wine sip everything was everything in. and what that does when you do the wine sip it does a couple of things that's why I like wine because it, it do more than one thing it aerates the wine and it opens up the flavor so the more you aerate and open up flavors the more you start tasting things that's why if you like see like real wine drinkers they're constantly holding it by the stem and maybe going like this or constantly having it on the table and going like this because they want to keep on opening up those flavors once it sits kind of like a soda once you let it sit too long it gets flat and it loses its taste wine doesn't really lose its taste once it sits but it just goes back to almost like that flavor when it's compacted in the bottle and you aerate wines because it's been sealed in a bottle for lord knows how long opening it up aerating it is giving you the opportunity to taste the wine taste what that region had to offer for that particular varietal when they were creating it and when they had it in mind so let's go ahead and take one more step and this time I'm gonna uh, let me see is it is another way that I want to try but I always be scared to try it on camera let me see if I can do it hold on <laughs> I can't do it let me try one more time it's the gurgle because it hit in the back of the palate. And so, it's certain ways that they do that as well. Like, how does it taste on the front of the palate? How does it taste on the middle of the palate? How does it taste on the back of the palate? Blah, 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 blah. So much, right? You just want to enjoy your wine. You don't want to do all that. But I'm doing all of it for you. And so, by me doing that, it allows me to take in the finish at the back of the tongue a little bit easier, a little bit faster than when I took the first sip which hit the front of my palate when I did the swish that covered my whole palate but when I gurgled that joint hit the back <laughs> so I don't know what this little what these bubbles are bubbling for I'm not getting like really carbonated sparkling I don't know what that I don't know what that's giving but I will say I do like it and I will say that so far dive bar and their Moscatos have not been doing me wrong it's actually making me feel okay with saying I like Moscato again yeah you heard me <laughs> because I think it's the flavoring of it and this is definitely I would say if you like tropical flavors this is definitely a summer sipper. I mean, you can sip it year round if you want to, but you know, everybody's looking for that wine for the summer that, you know, that they could take off a brunch. And this is really good if you love mimosas. I'm all for getting wines that are already flavored. Um, that way it's like no fuss. You know, you having a party, a last minute brunch, you don't have to worry about going to get the orange juice or the pineapple juice, whatever juice you put in your mimosas or your bellinis. Like, this is one stop shop. You go into the brunch at the plaza or, you know, a picnic. You know, who wants to have a whole lot of bottles that they're bringing with them? This is really, really good. Like I said, it's not bubbly. I don't know what this fizz is doing, but it's doing something. Is doing something so let me know in the comments if you're sipping this along with me as you're watching or if you have already tried it or if you are going to try it um, drop a comment below and let me know I'm always interested to hear your feedback 
and I will honestly say if I continue to do Moscato's for you all I would probably um, try another one with dive bar I know I gotta switch it up um, but the dive bar let me see how many flavors they have so they have watermelon the mango strawberry tropical um, the peach I had the lemonade that's what I had that's what I had um, they have blueberry karma apple so they have a lot of flavors and all of them before taxes at least here in Virginia are $7.99 perfect summer sippers so if y'all have any suggestions as always let me know in the comments because I am that wine friend that's willing to test it out for you okay don't forget that so let me know um, I think I'm going to probably go back to my roots next week and do something red because I got a lot of my red wine fans that are on here too and I don't want to keep you all away I want to share a um, summer sipper for you all um, in the red wine you know category if you all have a red wine suggestion that y'all would like me to try outside of the cab or the Pinot, which are normally like my go-tos, um, it is a is the Shiraz, Shiraz, Shiraz that I want to try that I heard that is a little bit on the sweeter side. So I want to try it for you guys. So if you want to see what that wine is, you got to make sure you're subscribed to the channel and you click the notification bell. So as I close, it's always a pleasure to sit down and drink with you guys, especially on this happy wind down Wednesday. Y'all know how it is. So as you're pouring your glass of wine tonight or tomorrow or the next day, just take it all in. Don't just drink it just to be lit. I mean, you can get you a bottle of Ciroc for that, okay? Wine is an experience in a glass. It takes you to places that you probably dream about going or you may have went before and it's reminiscent and it reminds you of going to that place. And I will say I love a good California wine and a Washington State wine. In the States, we have a lot of amazing varietals, you know, so so many times we want to, you know, get a French or a Spanish or a... Portugal wine and right here in the 50 United of the States even though America is America wing right now they do got some good wine okay <laughs> so if you enjoyed this video make sure you go ahead and give it a big old thumbs up also click that subscribe button and that notification bell so you never miss any of my videos so until next time loves peace and Cheers.